Hi, my name is Karthik and I'm from ExitAutomation.com and welcome to part 25 of our C Sharp for Automation Testing video series and this is an advanced series of the type. And in this video, we'll be talking about func or functions and action delegates of C Sharp. And once again, this is going to be a continuation of our previous video, which is part 23 and part 24. So please watch those two videos before watching this part. All right, so let's get started. Function delegates are function of t, t result delegates. So basically, the function delegates are used mainly where they requires a method which has one input generic type and one output of generic types. So basically, if you're going to use a function delegate, it is for sure going to return you a output regardless of you expect it or not. So this is very, very important. So that is the difference between function delegates versus the action delegates itself. So basically, function delegates will return a value for sure, whereas the action delegates will never return any value. So that's the difference between function delegates versus action delegates. But wait, what is really happening here? Why are we really discussing about a function delegates and action delegates? What happened to the delegate itself? So the existing code that we were working previously in the past two videos are these. In c 1.0, the declaration of delegate was this, as we clearly know how it happened. And in c 2.0, the declaration turned into this. So basically, it had a declaration of uh, the delegate, and then we called using a delegate keyword. And then we also moved our code into a Lambda expression in c 3.0, where we had a declaration of delegate, but still we called using what is called as a lambda expression and the concrete implementation of the method was gone. But then with C sharp 3.5, they introduce one more way, which is the function delegate, where you don't really have to declare a delegate itself. Interesting, right? So far we were declaring a delegate and we were performing all the operation using that. But right now we have removed, I mean the C sharp has removed the declaration of delegate itself rather they used what is called as a func or function delegate where you can pass the type string which is going to be the parameter and the last string the second string of any function is going to be always of t result which is the output so it's an out parameter type so it is going to be pretty much exactly like what we did in our previous video with c sharp 2.0 implementation this guy right that's exactly what it is right now in here. You can also use the lambda expression to do the same operation. So it is going to be looking something like this. You can see function of string, string p is equal to print and return printer, print value. So whatever value you pass in as a parameter is going to return that particular value using that particular function, right? So that's what is the uh, function delegates. And if you ask me about the action delegates, you can see it is action of t. So there is no t result in this guy, this action delegates. Basically, it encapsulates a method that has a single parameter and it does not returns a value. So the difference between the action and function delegate is this. So function for sure will have return value, whereas the action delegate for sure will not have a return value. Right? Just remember this way, which is much easier to understand and remember as well. So the action code is going to look something like this. It is going to have a action of string p is equal to print. And then you can just pass in uh, the value that you have to print in. So console.write line and you're going to print the value. That's it. And then you can call the method p of uh, this way, right? It's much simpler and much easier as well. So now we have removed the declaration of delegate itself. Instead, we are using the function as well as the action delegates. So let's quickly see all of these definitions that we were discussing so far in action and understand how things work. So for that, I'm going to flip to Visual Studio. All right, so this is the same project which we were working in our previous video. And we were calling the uh, printer delegate using this way until our last video, which is uh, C-Sharp 3.0 implementation. But right now, we are not going to really, really use this delegate try class itself. Basically, we are going to fully uh, deprecate this usage. I'm also going to command this particular piece of code. There's no use of it right now. Rather, we are going to make use of what is called as a function and action delegate. So the function delegate, as I said, is going to be something like this. And you can see it has over 16 generic overload way of uh, uh, inputting a parameter. So you can input un until 
16 different parameter types in it and then you can get the result out of it right so i'm going to take the function and then you can see that you can pass uh, a value something like that in of t and out of t result in t1 t2 of of t result so any parameter that you pass in it is going to have or expect t result as the last parameter of this particular uh, function delegate right so let's say i'm going to pass in string and string right and then i'm going to create a variable for that something like p is equal to once again it's pretty much exactly the same code delegate of string and values i'm just going to do uh, pretty much exactly the same code that i was doing before and then i'm going to return a value from it which is nothing but the values right so once i do that it is pretty much there so if i don't do this you can see the compiler is complaining us uh, saying that not all code paths return a value in an anonymous method so basically it expects me to return a value there there we go right and now again calling this is very very simple all you have to do is just write a console dot write line and p of uh, what value that you pass in or maybe get the value out of it so p of execute automation and you also have to create an implementation here which is nothing but the one which we were doing earlier something like this the value printed from lambda expression something like that so here i have to also do that so the value uh, from function delegates is this right and i can open the parenthesis braces all right there we go so now if i execute this code it's gonna print the particular value the value from the function delegate is this exit automation right so this is how you can use the function delegate so basically it expects us to uh, pass a parameter and also it expect you to return the value which you are passing in as a parameter right that's the thing about the function delegate so we have eradicated the declaration of delegate itself right now right the last one which is the action delegates so since the implementation of the uh, printing itself is sitting in here within this console right line if I want to move that within the delegate itself then I can use the action delegate basically action delegate is one more type so you can see it's an action delegate uh, you can just pass in see everything is a in parameter type here so I can just do string uh, and p is equal to or maybe I can say action p and uh, I actually can use the same delegate and then perform the operation uh, as I did before something like string of values and uh, I can print this particular value in there but here I can just do this uh, maybe I can cut this particular piece of code and I can say values and I can call the action p to print the value so it is not function delegate it's an action delegate and now if i execute the code you can see the action delegate is this execute automation so it is basically printing the value from the action so if i want to reduce all these codes using what is called as a lambda expression then the code is going to be even more simpler so it is going to be a string of uh oops of action uh, with lambda is equal to I'm just gonna say oops values I don't really have to create a parenthesis there and then I can use the lambda expression and then I can say console dot right line of the value from action lambda is uh, this. so it is basically pretty much exactly the same thing so I'm just gonna do that there we go and now if I just call the action with lambda and I'm gonna say execute automation 
and now if I execute this code, you can see the value uh, from action lambda is calculation. So everything is printing. So this is how you can see the evolution of the uh, delegates from 1.0, 2.0, 3.0, and whatever we discussed so far is actually from C sharp uh, 3.5, right? So this is what is delegates, and this is how we can work with the different forms of delegates and different way of working with delegates in C sharp. And once again, guys, this is exactly what is important in our automation testing itself because we may be encountering working with Lambda expressions and delegates in Selenium automation. So once again, thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.